Hey guys, Paul here, and I am super excited. Um, I am doing this video solo. Uh, I have a sealed box of Sorcery Contested Realm. These are the beta boxes. Um, ever since this came out, um, actually, let me, let me start that over again. I watched a video on these when the Kickstarter was announced. Seemed intriguing to me, but I just didn't do a lot of research on it. And I let the Kickstarter window expire without ordering. Um, then I happened to see when the Alpha Edition came out, um, which was what you got if you ordered the Kickstarter. Um, you know, I thought the cards were just super cool looking. Got real excited for them, but the prices had already gone up pretty high. I wasn't going to pay the prices for the alpha, so I ended up pre-ordering beta, um, and I've been waiting ever since. It happened to come in, it happened to arrive while we were out of town. So we have a sorcerer. Uh, I think this is, yeah, it's an avatar. Foil sorcerer avatar, a rubble token, and then the artist card. So yeah, so I've been waiting for these for a while, uh, for months in fact. And they are here, it looks like 36 sealed packs. Um, I ended up buying a lot of boxes, so we can do a lot of different opening content if you enjoy this. Um, I know a little bit about the game, uh, about the collectible nature of the game. Basically, I know nothing about the gameplay. Um, I know just enough to be dangerous, but not enough to be knowledgeable. So uh, bear with me here. All right, the first three cards, I believe, are going to be uncommons, um, which they call exceptional. So we have Chain Lightning, Shield Wall, and Vanguard Knights. The fourth card in is going to be your rare or ultra rare, which is going to be either elite or unique. So Black Obelisk is a unique. And then you've got your commons, which are called ordinaries. So here they are. The artwork on these is just... Fabulous. That's what drew me to these. Um, you get approximately, I think, of the openings that I have watched, it's somewhere around seven, seven or eight foils per box. Or maybe that, maybe that's the ultra rares, um, unique, what was called uniques, um, and nine foils. Maybe that's right. So, all right. Uh, this is an elite polymorph. And then, of course, the foils and other, you know, cool things can show up here in the common slot. Oh, that's cool. Summer River. I love the pirate ship art. I mean, some of the art on here is just incredible. So, if I end up missing something, please let me know down in the comments. Um... Hopefully, hopefully I don't miss any anything big, like a Curiosa or something like that, or a Curiosity. Uh, quarrelsome Kobolds. Flanks. Oh, uh, okay. Nope. I thought this was going to be a unique. A self-same simulacrum. Boy, that's cool looking. Maybe summoned as a basic copy of Nearby Minion. So basically a clone spell. I see a foil. Scorpions. Wolves. Common sense. Heat ray. All right, what do we have? We have a major explosion. That is an elite foil. A tremendous blast of elite magic. That's pretty cool looking. And, oh, a vile imp. I know people, people like that card. I've seen several other openings and a lot of people get excited for that card. Um, I have some sleeves here, let me put let me put that in a sleeve. Sorry, not organized. It wasn't quite set up when I started the video here. There we go. All right. So we have our first foil, and it was an elite. I don't know if you get one unique foil per box, or um, at least one per box. I happened to watch a video the other day where somebody got two unique foils. Um, one of which being one of the cores. Uh, I think it was a core ruby. Bullfrog. 
Oh, Polar Explorers. Elite. Lightning Bolt. It's cool looking. And we have another foil. We have a Spectral Stalker. An ordinary undead. A very ordinary Stalker. So that's going to be a common foil, but really cool looking. I, I love that background. With the foil, that full moon in the village back there. Oh, that's cool looking. Explosion. Minor explosion. Deal three damage to each unit at target location up to two steps away. All right, cave in. Ooh, what do we have here? Shifting sand. It looks like sinkhole from magic. And an aqueduct. So that's a dual land. So this produces two different elements, I think they're called, in the game. So you get those in the uncommon spot. That's pretty cool. This is a duplicate. We already... So five packs in, we've already got our first duplicate. Elite. Let's see. This is another cool set of artwork. Fire Harpoons. Amazon Warriors. Disenchant. Vile Imp again. All right, so we have a dupe, had a duplicate in that pack and no foil. Kind of a bummer. Uh oh, this pack is not opening up very well. I want to keep the cards nice. There we go. Telekinesis. I haven't seen that card yet. Um, Mud Flow. And then Iceberg. That is a cool looking card. Nope, just said that also back. Okay. And let's see. Infiltrate. So sophisticated magic for elite access. <laughs> Very cool looking. Masquerade ball. Cave trolls. Sorry. Oh, that's cool looking. Looks like a farmer's market. Camel. I've seen a bunch of camels already. Snow leopard. And the rustic village. Well, that landscape art is just tremendous. So we've had the alpha release. Um, as I'm filming this, it's like the Tuesday after the release. Um, and beta boxes, beta boxes started at 150, then they came down in price, down to like as low as about 130. Now they're back up to about 150. Um, and the supply is really disappearing quickly. Uh, let's see, Niskanath nice, Gnomes? I'm not saying that right, I'm sure, but that's cool looking. I like that little guy right back there. But if it, I would be this guy. Oh, we have Devil's Egg. That's a good, um, oh no, I've seen that in foil. Uh, so an elite relic of diabolical affliction. Yeah, so the price of the sealed boxes is climbing back up. Um, people are really enjoying opening these so far. I know that they've done just a great job with promoting the collectability. Our first avatar on the back. So the back spot of each uh, pack, you either get an avatar or a land um, or site location. So yes, they've done a great job of promoting the collectability. And so we've had the alpha release, which sold out basically instantly. The beta release, which had uh, a whole lot more than alpha, although nobody knows quite how much, and it's on its way towards selling out. Bottomless Pit, Elite Site of Depth and Despair. Well, that's cool looking. And the first expansion is going to be called Arthurian Legends, which obviously is going to center around like Camelot, scent hounds, doggies. So I'm pretty excited for that. That's cool looking art, sleep. So I have no idea, Autumn River, it's pretty. I have no idea how to tell if, I'm gonna have to go back through these, make sure I didn't get like any, I think they're called Curiosities, um, which is like a super special card. Hopefully we'll, we'll be able to tell right away if we get one. But if not, I'll have to go back through everything. Flaming Sword, it's cool looking. Did a great job, the flame. 
Um, Ormond Harpooners. I would not want to be them. Phase Assassin. Pretty cool looking. And Conqueror Worm, an Elite Worm. So we have found no uniques in this row that I'm opening up thus far. Ooh, that's cool looking zombies. That's one of my favorite pieces of artwork from this so far. I saw it on the, there it is right there on the box, you can see. Oh, two undead. Very cool, sedge crabs. Another imp, a swamp buffalo, and a dark tower. Open up. There we go. All right. Colicky Dragonettes. Pretty cool. Reminds me of the Dragon Whelps from Magic. Frost Nova. Lava Salamander. An Adept Illusionist. An elite mortal with duplicate skills. Or duplicitous skills. <laughs> um... Oh, I was... I can't remember what I was going to say. Spectral Stalker. That was the foil we saw. Boy, that looks sharp. In non-foil, you can really see that detail. Overpower, disenchant, boss control. All right, what do we have here? We have an ordinary mortal holds steady and true. Old Salt Anchorman. Very cool looking foil. Just a common, but man, that's sharp looking. Looks like he has a keyboard back there. I know I know it's gonna be like the the grate over the cargo hold, but it looks like he has a keyboard. And a rustic village. So I like that you get 36 packs in a box. I don't know if in Magic Ooh, Awakened Mummies. I don't know if in Magic the Gathering if you still get 36 packs in draft boxes or if you're down to like 24. Uh, trinket and abundance an elite aura of milk and honey mad dash that's the first one of those we've seen i think caravan dispel we it's like the fourth dispel we found blood raves another foil nightmare an elite undead of torment and terror oh that's cool now whenever i hear the word nightmare i i always think of the magic of the gathering the 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 uh black horse with the flames all over it. So this is quite a different look for Nightmare. Polar bears. It's the first polar bears. And there's no leopard nomads. It's wild seeing like all these what would have been Arabian Nights in Magic the Gathering. Like all the nomads and camels and things like that. Ah, more mummies. Uh, sea Raider. Guile Sirens. And Zephyrine Airship. Elite Mortals take to the skies. A Mage Slayer. That's another cool card. Roaming Monster. Drown. So, yeah, so there's Misprints. I've seen uh, Blizzard card with the drown artwork on it, I think. I think that's that's right. Or maybe it was the drown with the blizzard artwork. I don't remember. A wicker minikin. The Blair Witch Project. Ogre Goons. That's the first time we've seen those. Oh, that's cool looking. Gothic Tower. Alright, and that is going to complete that right side of the box. What did we end up with? Like five foils? I don't know. One, two, three, no. One, two, three, four. Four foils, two of which were elite, so that's uh, pretty good. Not too shabby. I know that right now the foils are kind of like where the, the big money is. Um, of course, if you get like a Philosopher's Stone, that is, from what I understand right now, that, that's kind of like the Black Lotus of the Alpha and Beta set. Um, and then the cores are sort of like the Moxes. Ooh, Moon Clan Werewolf. That's cool looking. All right, hey, Lord of the Void. That's our first unique right there. That is cool looking. Looks like he's making a dream catcher. 
a unique spirit of unspeakable emptiness. <laughs> Whoever wrote these is awesome. Uh, let's see, Riptide. That's new. Men of Lane. Oh, there's our Anchorman guy. Pit Vipers. Why did it have to be snakes? All right, no foils. But our first unique. So not one single unique on the right side of the box. I don't know if that's normal. I don't know if it's randomized. Um, all right, another iceberg. Poison Nova, looks pretty cool. Geyer Hippogriffs. An Onyx Core. Okay, so this is one of the cores that I was talking So these are like the, the equivalent of the Moxes, I suppose. Um, provides two glyphs to its controllers. I have no idea what those things are. Probably like an earth symbol and one colorless. Very cool looking. Melissa Benson. That's awesome. I remember meeting her. She uh, she did the Sheevan Dragon and the Lord of Atlantis. Lord of Atlantis was one of my favorite pieces of artwork. I got it autographed and my wife Shannon got the Sheevan Dragon autographed. Heat Ray. Use Firebolts. Whoa! All right, we have a site, a unique site, the Geistwood, a unique site of denied absolution. Did did this pack have a core and a unique foil in it? Oh man, that would be wild. That would just be sick. All right, that is cool looking. It looks like a forest. I love these old trees and the canopy. See that? That is great. I'm gonna put that in foil or in uh, plastic. Hang on. Swamp Buffalo sleep. And a humble village. They keep their place up pretty well. But they're humble. Alright, let's see. Get a couple sleeves here. Put the core. And put the Lord of the Void in foil in foil and a protector and then we'll put our land there we go all right keep those safe so i know that the cores i think the onyx core is one of the less expensive ones if i'm not mistaken i think non-foil version is like 50 bucks 60 bucks still that's i mean that's a lot iron chuckles and we have an Island Leviathan in Elite. Scarecrow, pretty cool looking. A Gaunt and Ragged Ordinary Relic. Rain of Arrows, that's new. Barry, I feel like that's new too. Cloud Spirit, oh, look at that. It's like a guy in the sky. Remember the magic card Thunder Spirits were like all the rage for a long time. A porcupine puffer fish. And now, nobody really cares. I mean, they're on the reserve list, so people care, but otherwise, it's it's not that big deal of a, of a creature anymore. But man, I remember back when the new set was like Fallen Empires, and a you know, having a Thunder Spirit was just a big, big deal back then. Kite Archer. Telekinesis. Recall. Teleport any number of allied minions to caster's location. Seems like that'd be a good spell. Oh. Assorted animals. Elite magic of a motley menagerie. <laughs> I feel like that's like the pet cemetery. Apprentice wizard. That's cool looking art. Cauldron crones. Tufted turtles. Crit critical strike. Kelpie. Boil. Wild boars. I don't know how they do the sorting for these but I feel like that pack like had a different assortment than what we had been getting because I feel like most of those commons were new to us these cards feel really nice whoa quagmire it's just an uncommon but man that art is gorgeous all right flanking maneuver another we have a lighthouse it looks like a Bob Ross painting there or Thomas Kincaid. 
Maria Molina. I don't have my glasses on, but I think that's what it is. Maria Molina. Beautiful. And we have an elite site, Primordial Spring. An elite site of pri primeval bounty. And then we have more new commons or ordinaries. Oh, I think we have the foil. We have the gnomes. Shifting sands. Mudflow. Oh, a court jester. An elite mortal with a mischievous smile. That's cool looking. Now, let's see. At the end of your turn, each nearby avatar discards a random card. Ooh. Anything that makes you discard is usually pretty good. We have a grapple shot. Wolves. Oh, blizzard. That's cool looking. Extinguish scorpions, heat ray, camel. Well, I thought we had a I thought we had a foil in here. We did not. I might have seen blizzard. Blizzard, or maybe that extinguish, maybe that side of extinguish. Maybe that made me think it was a foil. Let's see. Take a look at the back. Yeah. Alright. Dwarven Digging Team, Thunderstorm, Upwelling. Boy, oh, these are all cool. And Mask of Mayhem, another elite. Zombies, Big Viper. All right, ooh, another elite foil, the Far East Assassin. Looks like a ninja. He's drawing his sword, reflecting there. Stealth, Wild Boars, Sea Serpent. Teleport, Mortality, and River. I have forgotten to show on our foils the backside. So let me do that with this one. It's a full art, non-foily. Here we go. You can see, yeah, with this Geist Wood, you can't really see, the, see that much. <laughs> Different. We're like killing it with elite foils. I'd love to get uh, one of the mixes as a foil. That would be pretty cool. Uh, let's see, Holy Ground, Vantage Hills, uh, three uncommon sites in a secret tunnel. Boy, check that out. Check that art out. And then Silence is our elite. Barry, Cauldron, when, let's see. Getting a lot of duplicates here. Oh, Bone Rabble. That's going to be an ordinary, but it's cool looking foily skeleton. I can just hang it out there. Unravel. That's cool looking too. I like, I like a lot of these with the skeletons on them. Um, let's see. Yeah. I, I feel like the artwork. On this is just a little bit more dangerous than what we're seeing in magic nowadays. We have another avatar going from the bottom, the wave shaper. So another avatar. It's cool looking. All right, Will of the Wisp. That was an awesome monster way back when in Magic the Gathering. We have another foil. Uh, Outback Strider. An iceberg. We've seen the iceberg. And then we have Polymorph, Elite Magic of Transfrogification. I think that's our second... It is. It's our second Polymorph. Rummy Monster, Boil, Drown, Drain, Mercenaries. And we have a foily pirate ship. It's beautiful looking. Oh, I love that sunset in the background with the foil. That might be my favorite foil that we've found so far. It's just an ordinary, but it's beautiful. And then, of course, I also like the sedge crabs because I'm from Maryland. We like steamed crabs. Tide naiads. A root spider. Cave-in. Death dealer. Oh, okay. This is unique, and this is another high-dollar one. I think this might be, let's see, this Brian Smith artwork. 
It's like reminiscent of Frazetta. And there's certain Frazetta artworks you can get, I think, in here. Again, like I admitted at the beginning, I know just enough to be dangerous, but not enough to be knowledgeable. So I haven't seen in any of the unboxings I've watched, I haven't seen anybody pull a Frazetta that I know of out of packs, but I also know in the Alpha edition they were pretty rare. So I've only watched a few videos so far. Sunken Treasure, that's cool looking. I like the Manta Ray is back there. That one back there would be me. Waypoint Portal, another new uncommon. And we have Atlantean Fate, another unique. A unique aura of hubris humbled. <laughs> cool. Blood Raven, Midnight Rogue, Rouge. All right. We're gonna start going a little bit quicker here. Number one, to preserve the battery in my camera. And number two, because a lot of the commons we've now seen, so I'm not gonna linger on them quite as long. Our werewolf. We have Holy Ground. We saw that already. Phantasmal Shade. And we have the Rift Valley, an elite site. Man, look at that. It looks like ruins or something like you can just imagine. Like, I, I grew up playing Dungeons and Dragons and you know reading fantasy novels and stuff. So whenever I see artwork like that, I always just wonder like, what's hiding inside of there? Is it treasure? Is it nothing? Is you know some big monster in there? Maybe a dragon is taking up residence. Probably not a dragon, but you know some other group of stuff. All right, so that was our middle row, and I feel like the middle row was crazy good for us. Now we're on to the left side of the box. Let's see if we can get. All right, floodplain. A quagmire. We've seen a quagmire. Watchtower. All right, so another three uncommon sites. And the kingdom of Agartha. A unique site of a creation score. Very cool looking. Hounds. Let's see, zombies and nothing. I don't know how many uniques we have. No, I think we might have five. Dodge roll, geyser, and gnome hollows. Look, check out the gnome hollows. Oh, that's cool. I like the little ladder right there. And we have an Eskelian Phoenix, an elite beast of Kes Candescent Splendor. And here's our commons. Ordinaries, as they're called. Autumn River. That's pretty. I wonder if you can get all four seasons for the river. That would be pretty cool. Be kind of like a... What was it? Mishra's Workshop? Mishra's Workshop? Um, from Antiquities. From Magic of the Gathering. Minecart Madness. A Constrictor. These. I don't like that card. Probably a good card, but I just don't, I just don't care for it. All right, we have a Recurring Spectre. An elite. Can't defend. Maybe cast for your cemetery. Oh. Let's see any foils or anything else that looks special here. Not seeing it. I know I keep referencing Magic the Gathering. Um, it's kind of like the best reference that I have for this. And I know that some of the creators of this game were very influenced by that. Oasis. Oh, Bannerman. Ooh, the free city. Check that out. Oh, that's cool. I would like to live there. Maybe. I don't want to be right on the wall, but I, I could be. If I was going to be on the wall, I think I'd want to be on this corner spot. That'd be pretty cool. Now we have a mountain giant and elite giant of monumental proportions. <laughs> Occupies four locations. Let's, let's see... Bats. I don't think we've found those yet. Power chip. Sorry, I'm trying to keep my piles organized over here. I know you probably can't see them. Alright, we have Whirling Blades. 
first one of the <laughs> arms that guy has. A Pudge Butcher. Mariner's Curse. Boy, I like a lot of these with the ships in them. An exceptional aura of wrongs not forgiven. And we also have a sinkhole, an elite sinkhole. Sacrifice sinkhole. Destroy a nearby site. So that's very much like strip line. Let's see, Flood Plain. Shrink. Cool looking artwork. Tide Naiads, we saw that already. All right, and we have the Dwarven Forge, an elite site with swart and sweaty artisans. <laughs> Let's see if we see anything new in the ordinaries. I'm not seeing any more polar bears. We have that Summer River. So I need to look for a spring and a winter river. I feel like I've definitely seen the summer and the autumn. All right, drought, four horsey, phantasmal shade, wildfire, that's a new one. And we have the Orb of Balbareth, a unique monument to corrupted quiddity. Oh, that's cool looking. Alright, let's see, more wolves. So third or fourth wolf. Wolf. Not, a, not third or fourth wolf. We've seen. A few more packs to go. Looks like five more packs. I'm hoping to find one more foil and maybe another unique curse. Grave Golem. That looks like um Alien or uh Cenobite from Hellraiser. Siege Ballista. <laughs> Holy cow. Alright, Philosopher Stone. There it is right there. That is the card right now to get, I believe. Um, whoa. All right, this is not foil, but that is pretty awesome. A unique relic and magnum opus. The first spell each element cast by the bearer each turn costs one less. It's like the gift that keeps giving. Oh, that's cool looking. Looks like, like out of Da Vinci's notebook or something. Very cool. Very cool. We'll go ahead and we'll we'll show all the uniques and foils at the end, just to kind of count up and see what we got. All right. Four packs left. This has been like an incredible first box. Phantom Steed, that's a new one by Melissa Benson. The Dapperill Vampire, an exceptional and dead with a sanguine desire. <laughs> How cool. Oh, and then we have a windmill. Oh, I like that one. And what do we have? We have a Hydra, an elite monster of multifarious smite. Very cool looking. Who did that? Melissa Benson. Okay. I thought those colors looked familiar. So these, this, these colors like these shapes remind me of Lord of Atlantis. But I also see like the Sheevan Dragon there. I like the lightning behind it. That's a cool looking card. All right. We've seen all. Oh, Geomancer. Another avatar. So I'm not sure if that's. I'm not sure if we found one of each of the avatars yet. I'm probably getting close. Okay. Anui Undini. Cone of Flame and Steep. All, all three of those uncommons, I think, are new or exceptionals. And then Nimbus Jin. Nimbus Jin, an elite spirit of turbulent terror. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go quick just to kind of keep my battery going here. Arid Desert, I feel like that's new. Pilgrim, Digging Team, and we have another airship. So we found a few duplicates in this. Um, our duplicates have all been elites. Wow, another elite foil. Replication. Pretty cool. 
There it is from the back. Cool looking on that full art on the back. So, look upon a for fish. Oh, hang on, I forgot to put my exceptionals in the pile. All right, we are going to be at our last pack right here. While I'm opening up this last pack, I do want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching. If you've been here this far, I congratulate you. We have had some great pulls in this first box. There will be more boxes. Um, but yeah, let me know Let me know in the comments. Let me know uh, by a thumbs up or thumbs down or something if you enjoy this. Another unique. Finishing strong on a unique. I really like... I really like the artwork of this game. Um, for me, the artwork is enough, quite frankly. I will eventually learn how to play this. Um, I knew when Alpha came out I wasn't going to be buying Alpha to play. Okay, so Uniques, we have the Manuscript, the Philosopher's Stone, the Orb, um, Kingdom of Agartha, uh, Atlantean Fate. That might, be, that might be my favorite as far as the artwork there. Death Dealer, Lord of the Void, and the Onyx Core. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uniques. I mean, Death Dealer, the Philosopher's Stone, and the Core are, that is just crazy value, I think. I could be wrong, but I think that's pretty awesome. All right, we have foils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, including... One elite. Let's go again here. Major explosion is an elite. Ordinary. Ordinary. Another elite. Another elite. A unique. Ordinary. Ordinary. An elite. What's that? Five elites. No, four elites. One unique. No exceptionals. And then four ordinaries. Holy cow. I hope that's a good elite or a unique foil. So anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be opening more boxes of these just to enjoy this artwork and the collectible nature of these. I'm super pumped about this. I am going to learn how to play the game probably with some pre-constructed decks or something, but I will not be showing that. That'll just kind of be, you know, to enjoy. But I will be collecting these. These, I think, are a lot of fun. And I'm super pumped about this new game with this awesome artwork. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time.